WealthLift.com. Welcome to Lesson 4 of the WealthLift Beginning Stock Investing Series, using discounted cash flow analysis to value companies and stocks. In this WealthLift video lesson, you will learn what is discounting, how do I use discounting to find undervalued stocks? What is a margin of safety? What is discounting? The idea of discounting is a little confusing at first, but actually very intuitive once you get the hang of it. This lesson is also the most difficult of the five Wealthlift stock investing lessons to understand. So don't feel intimidated if you need to go over it a few times before you're comfortable with the ideas in this lesson. Discounting is simply the idea that $1 given to you today is worth more than $1 promised to you in the future. The longer the time period until the promised dollar is paid, the less that promise is worth today. Again, the concept itself is simply common sense. If I offered you $1,000 now versus $1,000 a year from now, obviously you would prefer to get it now and value getting $1,000 now more. Being promised $1,000 in a year's time means not earning interest on the money and also means you're taking on the uncertainty of whether or not you'll actually get the money. The promise of $1,000 a year from now is worth less than $1,000 today. It has a present value of less than $1,000. This concept can be applied in more exact ways using a discount rate. A discount rate is a kind of interest rate which you demand on money promised in the future because of the very fact that it is only a promise in the future and not an actual payment today. It is calculated as the sum of risk-free interest rate that you could have gotten on your money if you had received it today, which is usually taken as the interest rate on essentially risk-free government treasury bills and a risk premium for the uncertainty that the promise will actually be fulfilled. For example, if the current interest rate on treasury bills is 4% and we take the risk premium as 7%, we get a discount rate of 11% per year. Once we have the discount rate, we can simply divide any amount of money in the future by 1 plus this discount rate raised to the power of the number of years until we receive the money to get the present value of the payment. For example, if I am promised $1,000 in 5 years and I put a discount rate of 11% on this promise, the present value of that $1,000 is $1,000 divided by 1 plus 0.11 raised to the power of 5 years. As we expect from discounting, the present value of $593.45 is less than the promised future value of $1,000. A promise of $1,000 in 5 years time means I miss out on getting interest on that $1,000 in the meantime and I also take on the risk of not actually receiving the money when payment is due. Therefore, I only value the payment at $593.45 today. $593.45 is the present value of the payment, and $593.45 is the most I should be willing to pay to receive this $1,000 payment in five years' time. How do I use discounting to find undervalued stocks? The simple examples discussed earlier may seem irrelevant to stock investing, but by buying a stock, you are essentially being promised a number of regular future payments in the form of earnings by the company. The stock price today can therefore be just thought of as a sum of all the present values of all future payments, because the sum of the present values of future company earnings is the most you should be willing to pay for a stock. Using discounting of future earnings to price a stock is known as discounted cash flow analysis, or DCF. To price a stock using expected future earnings, you would need to discount every dollar of future earnings and add them all together to get the stock price. Doing this is difficult and requires complex annuities formulas, which can be hard to work with. Instead, you can simply use the Wealthlift Discounted Cash Flow Stock Valuation Calculator to determine a stock price. 
This calculator can be found on the article lesson page of Wealth Lift Lesson 4. First, look up the current EPS of any company and enter it into the calculator. The EPS of any company can be found by entering its ticker symbol on the stock research page of wealthlift.com. Then enter the percentage growth rate at which you think the company will grow their profits in the next few years. Also, enter the number of years you think the company will be able to grow earnings at this rate. Then, enter the rate at which you think the company will grow its earnings after that time. Enter a discount rate. If you're not sure what to put here, 11% is a good start. If you think you're valuing a riskier stock, say a small cap, you should use a higher number of between 12 and 14%. If you think you're working with a relatively low risk stock, say a blue chip or a utility company, you can use a discount rate of 10%. Finally, press Calculate Fair Stock Price to determine what you should be willing to pay for the stock. If the current stock price is below this number, then you may have found an undervalued stock that you can add to your portfolio. For example, based on a quick search through the Wealthlift stock research page, we can see that Apple Inc. had earnings per share of $20.99 in the last year. Let's say that we expect earnings to grow at a fairly high rate for a large cap of 10% a year for the next five years, based on some of the new Apple products coming out soon, but only at 3% a year after that due to the company maturing and the product sales slowing down. Putting these values into the calculator, we get a fair stock valuation of $360.44 for Apple. If this is higher than the current stock price, then this could be an opportunity to invest in Apple stock. What is a margin of safety? Benjamin Graham was a highly influential 20th century American economist and professional investor who taught at Columbia Business School and authored two of the most influential books on investing ever written, Security Analysis and The Intelligent Investor. While teaching at Columbia, Graham taught a young student named Warren Buffett, who became the first and only student in any of Graham's classes to earn an A+. Buffett, who obviously went on to be one of the most successful investors of all time, would later claim Graham as his single greatest influence and also describe Graham's book, The Intelligent Investor, as the best book about investing ever written. One of Graham's greatest contributions to the world of investing was the concept of a margin of safety. Graham noted that no one could accurately predict the future and that any estimate of future profitability of a company was, at best, an educated guess. He therefore realized the need to include a margin of safety in the valuations of companies so that even if predicted earnings estimates were significantly off, you could still come out ahead by having a large margin of safety to work with. For example, if using DCF analysis, you come with a valuation of $50 while the current market stock price is $40, you have a 25% margin of safety between the actual stock price and what you believe to be the fair value for the stock. For Graham, any margin of safety of less than 40 to 60% was considered too risky and unprofitable. Therefore, to be a successful investor, it is important to adopt this idea of a margin of safety early on and to invest only in ideas where the stock has a built-in margin of safety between your purchase price and what you believe the stock is worth. In the fifth and final Wealthlift Beginning Stock Investing lesson, we look at more key concepts for investing successfully by looking at ways to minimize fees and commissions when trading so you can maximize your investment returns.